Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Take number 156. Yeah, all right, you got everything plugged in right this time? Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Line Cutters After the Episode. I'm Ty Sutherland, your host, and this is my co-host, my beautiful and intelligent (laughs) wife, Teresa Sutherland. What do you want? I broke something, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> this is uh, after the episode for um, Blues on the Beach. Blues on the Beach. Yes. Blues Ooh, on the beach. Boat up on blues, Mike. There's the uh, star of the show. The, the star of the show Johnson is the Silver Johnson Silver Minnow. Teresa, these work amazingly well. Muddy Marsh in gold. And they work great on clear flats in silver. And they work great on our clear water beaches in silver. They have a weed guard for weeds, but of course the beach it doesn't matter. Um, but silver, anything silver on the beach is king. Spanish, Walking the beach. Spanish hit that thing like crazy Spanish too. annihilate these. The blues love, love them. Jack, everything's going to whack this, no matter what's mm-hmm. out there. But the problem is they cost a little bit of money. You know, they're four bucks a pop, and I'm a cheapskate. Uh, our, our, another, my, actually, my dead-on favorite is the Castmaster Spoon. I take the treble off, put a single hook on it. It's very flashy and very heavy. Throws very far, and you can rip it quick. Kills everything out there. Mm-hmm. Problem with these, they cost three, four bucks a pop, and I go through them fast because everything's got teeth. So that brings me to making my own smashed lead sinker weights, and that's what I'm doing with all this. Y'all see me do this. I have a DIY video on smashing the lead sinkers down into lures, paint them with chrome spray paint, and that way I can make a bunch of these, and I can afford to lose a few of them because we tend to use floral mono leader, get more hits rather than steel. Steel's a hassle as well. It's been used to a lot of top water. We got some good blow ups, right? We got a few top water. We were out at uh, Navarre Beach. Navarre? Uh-huh. And uh, it, of course it's winter and it was like 41, 42 degrees. We were not real prepared. Nope. We're <laughs> we went prepared. out to go shark fishing, to just sit and watch Sean go shark right. fishing. We ended up, Teresa ended up finding School of Blues. Yeah. She went down the beach and found Mm-hmm. Well, we just had a few spook juniors, and they all had trebles on them, and we started hanging those blues on the trebles, and it was a mess to get them off. Well, I wish I'd had my fish grip. I didn't have it with me. I, every time I forget it, I need it bad. So we're messing with treble hooks and thrashing blues. We didn't even have pliers. We didn't have pliers a sand dollar, grip. half a sand yeah, dollar to saw get that. that spoon out. <laughs> So I came immediately home and I got a bunch of old topwater plugs and I put single hooks on them. When you're dealing with, uh, you know, a big schooling fish with teeth and you just want to get them off and throw back out, single hooks are the way to go. Yeah. They also work well in grass on the flats. Especially if you get spastic when you're fishing like we do. Yeah, we want them off. We want to catch the next one. Yes. And you get a really solid hookup with them too. Got back in here. Yeah. So the spoons and we threw topwater, that's kind of our you know, arsenal for walking the beach. It's a lot of spoons and a lot of top water. You want a heavy cast? We had a north wind behind us. Mm-hmm. So the north wind will grab that lure from your back and just take it straight out. And it also lays it like a flat like a pancake. It's just like a swimming pool. So then you just, you can walk the dog. You can do anything you want out there on a north wind day. It's beautiful. The Emerald Coast is stunning. And unlike Miami, it's close to everybody. We're up here by Mobile. I'm two hours from the Louisiana line. Not far. You know, you can get to us really quick on yes. this area, you know. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to be and walk in the beach. Let's talk a little bit about the, the reels and the rods that we, we use for that. We used a typical red spin, uh, McCain, inshore. Seven foot? Mm-hmm, medium. You have flats rod, bass rod type stuff. We're using the Lou's Inshore Series. Mm-hmm, it's a 4,000 size, but they call it the TP... The TP1 Inshore. Inshore mm-hmm. 400, they call Speed it. Speed Spin. Right. Yeah. We call it 400, which for most brands would be Speed a 4,000. Speed Spin on the Red Spin. Bam. Spin. Your typical bass rod, 7-foot bass rod, inshore rod, works fine for walking the beach for these, these small to medium-sized predators that run up and down. It actually is a lot of fun catching them on something like that oh, because yeah. they fight really. Oh, yeah, they and blow up. And wintertime, they're super feisty. So Yeah, they got a lot of oxygen with that colder water and, and they're yep. going pecans. And that's pretty much it. It's easy to do. If, hey, if you want to do it with us and learn some more of our techniques and tactics, you can go to 30milesout.com and click on charters. And we actually do that with people we walk the beach. It's a lot of fun. Teach them techniques and stuff Yeah, like techniques. That. And mm-hmm. we also teach them about other things, kayak fishing and stuff, while we're just walking and talking. So it's a, it's a fun way to get together. That's pretty much it. That's how we roll. Thanks a lot for watching.
the Thursday episode, Blues on the Beach. And thanks a lot for watching after the episode. Do you walk the beach? And if you do, comment below and let us know what your favorite lure is for walking the sand and chunk it out into the Gulf of Mexico. Is it suspension baits? Is it spoons? Is it top water? Is it leads? Let us know. Comment below. Mm-hmm. Because we like sharing. And we like doing it. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Except my lures. I don't I don't share my lures. You don't share your lures? Nope. But I do care. Oh, look a bird. <laughs> I just don't like to share my lures. Guys, we'll see y'all next time. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time right here on Line Cutters. After the episode.